Hi, I'm Joni Patree and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I want to talk about something that's very sad, very sad to me, and it is the passing of Lisa Marie Presley as the only daughter of Elvis Presley, one of the most famous people ever on planet Earth. And it's so often that you find that people of such celebrity status, you think that their lives are perfect, they're rich, they're famous, they have everything. But nothing could be further from the truth because it puts so much pressure on to people to have this particular position in life. And of course, many of the the children of legends figure, how can I measure up? I will never be able to equal the, the status or the whatever people believe of me in comparison. And even if that's not the case, which it isn't for everyone, it still is interesting how so many celebrities have such difficult lives. So I thought we'd look at her chart because there's something very, very specific that I want everyone to get out of this analysis of Lisa Marie Presley's chart. And let's go ahead and put the chart up for now as, as here is Lisa Marie Presley's chart. And the one thing that I find that is so interesting is how the ninth house in Vedic astrology is the father. And looking at her chart, you're going to see that Saturn and Rahu, which are indicators of extremes in every way of the word, Saturn is karma and Rahu is destiny. And you put them together, I've often said, it is like a blessing and a curse. Why? Because the blessing is, this is so powerful. But at the same time, Rahu is ultimate desire. And remember, Rahu also represents fame. And interestingly enough, Lisa Marie has both Saturn and you know, the Saturn Rahu conjunction doesn't happen all the time. It's kind of rare. As a matter of fact, it happens about every seven years or so. Um, and what I find so interesting is she has it in the ninth house of the father. Remember in Vedic astrology, the ninth house is the father, not the 10th house as we are taught in um, Western astrology. Vedic astrology looks at the ninth house as the father. So go to show she's got Saturn and Rahu in her ninth house of father. And her mother, Priscilla Presley, married Elvis. Guess she has Saturn conjunct Rahu as well. I'm not going to show you her chart, but just take my word for it. As a matter of fact, my new book that just came out, Astrologer Secrets, My Best Tools and Techniques, I have both, I have Priscilla Presley's chart in there and Lisa Marie Presley's chart in there based on the fact that they both have Saturn conjunct Rahu and guess where it is in Priscilla Presley's chart. You bet in the seventh house of the marriage partner. I thought that was fascinating. So that's why I'm saying it's in my new book, Astrologer Secrets, My Best Tools and Techniques. By the way, if you're interested in that book or anything else about me, signing up for my newsletter or uh, looking at my monthly magazine, you can find all of that on my website, which is galacticcenter.org. And look at my books, my newest books on Amazon, but you can find all that on my website. So getting back to Lisa Marie Presley's chart, thinking about that Saturn Rahu being in her sec, in her ninth house of the father. Well, the ninth house of the father the sign that's on that cusp is Pisces. And in the old rulership system, Jupiter rules Pisces. So the ruler of the ninth house, which represents her father, 
goes to her second house, which the second house deals with family, and her, Plu and her Jupiter sits with Pluto in the second house. So what does Jupiter-Pluto conjunction mean? Power major power and the second house besides being family represents money income wealth and her father gave her incredible wealth because jupiter ruler of the ninth house of father sits in the second house of family and wealth with pluto so she came across great wealth but you know Looking at her chart, she has three planets in her eighth house. Look at that. Moon, Mars, and Mercury all in the eighth house. The eighth house is a very difficult house. And it actually deals with death. That's one of the main features of the eighth house. It can deal with humiliation, problems, addictions, all of that, which was all a part of Lisa Marie's life. And many of us do know that she lost her son. Her son committed suicide. And all of us know that that's what this had to be about. There was so much grieving, so much sadness in her heart and her soul. She couldn't get over that. And that's what you can pretty much see in this chart. Because looking at her chart, the planet that rules her fifth house, remember the fifth house in astrology is children. Her fifth house has Mars on it. Mars is, I mean, I'm sorry, the fifth house has Scorpio on it which is ruled by Mars. So the ruler of the fifth house, which is Mars, goes to the eighth house of death. And it sits right next to her natal moon. So her Mars moon conjunction, the moon actually rules her entire chart because the moon rules cancer. So her chart ruler being the moon goes to the eighth house and sits with Mars and Mercury. So this is a very difficult chart. Did you know that Lisa Marie was the one that found her father? Talk about trauma for a small child to see her father dead. He was, she was at the house. And this is her powerful eighth house being exposed to so much death in a lifetime. Trauma serious depression from so, from so many difficulties that we think somebody of her caliber should have a charmed life, but she didn't. And you can see this in the chart. You can see the fame of the father. You can see the money, the wealth. You can also see the death of her son. Now there's many other things that predict this. I'm just being with the rudimentary basis of astrology showing you how this works. But I haven't even gotten to the most important feature that I feel like is what contributed the most to her death. And I'm going to hold up one of my favorite books that I've written uh, recently, which is around Neptune. Secrets, Illusions, and Scandals. Now, she does not have Neptune in her eighth house, in her natal chart. But what I want you to know is that I have seen Neptune deal with death so many times. And you don't necessarily hear that about the planet Neptune. All you hear about is its deception, illusions, and yes, it definitely can deal with scandals. It deals with things we can't see. And it also deals with the sense of having a spell cast over us. So I always tell everyone, be very, very careful when you're under the spell of Neptune. And what constitutes being under the spell of Neptune? When the transit of Neptune sits on any of your natal planets. 
very important because at this time, and Neptune, by the way, rules drugs because Neptune deals with everything that deals with how we escape from this world. Neptune moves very slow. It can stay in a sign for about 12 to 14 years. So when it does come over any of your natal planets, it's rare. And it will stay there for approximately two years, just fluctuating back and forth that degree of one of your natal planets. Remember when I'm talking about a transiting planet, though, I'm talking about where the planets are in the sky. As the planets are constantly moving, as they move through your individual birth chart and may cross over any of your natal planets, remember your birth chart or where all the planets were on your day and time and place of birth. So in Lisa Marie Presley's chart, her moon sits at 28 degrees of Aquarius. And what I want you to know at the time of her death, where transiting Neptune was, and transiting Neptune was 28 degrees of Aquarius. I have seen this so many, many times that Neptune can bring on death, but it deals with illusions. She was in a very delusional, bad place Neptune does rule drugs, and you know, Lisa Marie was the first to admit she couldn't get off drugs. She was trying to escape the pain that she felt over the losses in her life, and especially her son. And as Neptune was right on her moon, in the eighth house, and don't forget the moon rules her chart. She's a Cancer rising. The moon rules Cancer. So her chart ruler, most sensitive and important planet in her chart, sat in the eighth house of death. And transiting Neptune was exactly on her natal moon. She couldn't see outside of the darkness. She couldn't see outside of the drug. She couldn't. She was trying to escape the hurt and the pain that she felt in her heart. And yes, this affected her heart. So I just wanted you to see how important the spell that Neptune casts on our chart. We can't see what's really going on. We can't see the truth. It's a spell, but it deals with deception, deceit, and denial, and drugs, and many, many, many times Neptune deals with death. So the transit of Neptune as it was on the moon in the eighth house of death really shouldn't surprise anyone that comes from an ba astrological background as to the demise Lisa Marie Presley. What a sad and difficult thing to see. And what a sad demise for such a beautiful, sensitive, feeling woman that she was. This is heartbreaking to see in a chart, but this does somehow prove some of the realities of astrology. And hopefully, we can see when these transits come up for any of our loved ones or in our life or in others that possibly and hopefully it could be prevented. So with that, I'd like to close. If you would like more information on me, if you would like a reading, if you would like to learn about my magazine, my newsletter or my book, go to galacticcenter.org. And if you would like to study with me, I have an amazing university all online called University of Vedic Astrology. Go to my website, 
universityofvedicastrology.com. Thank you.